Hi guys, uh, I'm Rick Chasers. Most of you know me as Denim Don. Welcome to my space. I'm born and bred in Marundi Rang. I grew up in Mutare and now based in Harare. Uh, what made me get into fashion? I think most of my classmates or people who went to school with me know me. I've always been the guy that we have a t-shirt written with a pen, head on the sleeves on the collar. I would always have something. So I would say uh, fashion I started way back in primary. I was more into art, I was more into drawing, but it was more fabric painting, I have my face on the t-shirt, have someone's face on the t- I guess probably that's where the design of the denim jacket came from. My family being supportive, <clears throat> no offense, but ah, you guys, you weren't. <laughs> but um, I guess every parent is like that, man. And uh, to be honest, fashion is not something that our parents grew up uh, embracing and stuff. So they were more of, I was more of a numbers person. So mathematics has always been my strength, be it from primary, high school. So they weren't really much buying into fashion. They were more of, we want you to be the numbers guy, we want you to be the numbers guy. But it only made sense for them after my first newspaper article. That's when I could say the support started coming in. My mom's favorite design, it's more the cargo, the khaki color, because she's more into farming. So anything that goes in line with the farmer's designs and stuff, she'd rock it every day, every day. Whenever she's at the farm, that's what she's always rocking. I didn't go to fashion school. Uh, I would say I'm self-taught. Of course, uh, once you get into a certain industry, you now get to study how the fashion dynamics work, what's new, what's trendy, the type of fashion. So I, I can say most of the stuff in fashion, I go to learn it on my own. Rick Chase's style, my style is streetwear, abstract. It's more of uh, self-expression, hence why I do more with uh, denim. If you rip a denim, you're self-expressing yourself, it's a swan, self-express yourself it's drawn so denim is more of like a universal fabric which anyone can express themselves be it from painting ripping sewing any form of anything that you do to a denim whether you tear it apart you whatever is a design on its own uh, challenges in the fashion industry i would say first first of all uh, fashion is not really recognized in zimbabwe uh, if I had to look at the recent National Merit Awards, there's not even a fashion category, which is something questionable and which is something that's demotivating for the upcoming fashion designers or upcoming stylists and stuff. So I think there should be more of recognition, there should be more of programs and fashion awards, if I may call them, um, to as well uplift the upcoming designers and stylists. Regional, I don't have, um, I don't really have any challenges because I'm that person that don't have limits. If I want to attack, we ever want to attack. In terms of my designers, I go for it. So the only challenge is I would say locally because you know recognition starts from home. Uh, the people that motivated me in the fashion industry they locally are uh, Pokelo Nare, Queen of Segwa. Uh, she's the one who would push me. And before I worked with her, I would always go for her stuff because she was more of self-expression. If she decided to wear rib shorts, she didn't care about who's going to say what and who's going to say what or what. So she was the person that I was eyeing for even before I got in the industry. And if it's international, I would say Virgil Abloh because he's not only limited, he wasn't only limited to fashion, but um, he would go as far as interior designing be it cars, houses, etc. I'm slowly venturing into interior designing. My shop, which I personally designed on my own. One thing I'm now laughing about uh, streetwear in general, it's, it's not just limited to the material. It's not just limited to clothes. That's why you'd find uh, fashion designers are now merging with car designers, they're now merging with uh, people who design airplanes and stuff. So currently what I'm focusing on now is uh, 
trying to merge with uh, mostly vehicle interior designers. Just that locally, it's still a challenge, but if I could express, if I could spread my wings there, definitely I'm going for it. Yeah.